Hey guys, welcome back to LoFi Startup. Today I've got Jasper with me. Jasper's built a Minecraft server hosting platform. We're going to chat about how it was built from the back end to the front end and also the deployment stuff as well. So, super exciting. Yeah. Let's get into it. Tell us why you decided to build this idea. Like, what was the inspiration behind it and what got you thinking about? potentially making like improvements in this sort of space because I guess there are quite a lot of Minecraft servers yeah. already. What was sort of the thinking behind starting this, this sort of side project? Um, there was a couple of different things, but uh, I remember like years ago trying to find a server hosting platform and it yeah. just being really annoying like with, with some friends. And from that idea, I, I just set up an EC2 instance and just threw on a server myself. And it was like, it was super cheap and I could turn it off and nice. save money when we weren't playing. Right. And since then, there have been some new platforms that came up in that space with like the hyper budget where it like turns off and comes on like as you're playing Got or you. like when you're not playing. Yeah. But very recently, one of the biggest ones actually shut down. It was a, a somebody's sort of one of their side projects and he decided that he doesn't want to work on it anymore. So it oh, was wow. a pretty big gap. Opportunity. Yeah. Okay, um, nice. A lot of the, the user base went to another platform, but I'm hoping to, to take, maybe, some, yeah, take some market yeah. share. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That sounds, sounds great. Let's chat a little bit about the back end and I guess how you piece together the services to kind of spin up the servers and the general handling of the back end for your app. Like kind of how does it work? I've got a Golang control plane, which is sort of that's hosted on railway, but we can chat about yeah, that yeah. later. It basically just talks to the Docker API. I've got a little daemon that runs on the actual nodes that have the servers nice. and it communicates with those. And um, yeah, it just talks to my uh, infrastructure providers API nice. and spins up servers, spins them down and then uses the Docker SDK to actually um, spin up the containers that the people connect to. Got you, with all yeah. the right like configurations and environments. Yeah, and yeah, stuff. yeah. Nice. exactly. Yeah. Rad. So you have a little Go service, essentially, Yeah. that's spinning up these little instances. As someone wants to create a new server, you host that, I guess, on a subdomain? Yeah, for exactly. So okay. uh, the Cloudflare's API is nice. really good. I just pointed to the IP address. And, okay. Yeah. So I can like name my environment like whatever I want, and then yeah. click create, and it basically spins that up. Yeah, I exactly. Can copy that link, like the URL of that server, stick it into Minecraft, and I'm yeah. good to go. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Nice. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about like as a user of the app, kind of how did you piece together the front end? How did you build the front end? What was the like user journey that you? built out, how does that all work? So the front end is built in Next.js. Okay. Um, so much out of the box that just works really well. Nice. Um, and I'm using Clerk for auth. They seem super good. They set up your auth pages for you and it looks really slick. So it was nice not having to spend time doing that, which adds very little value. Totally. Um, and then the actual platform right now, super, super small, super quick to set up a server. And I think that's, that's what I want. I just, nice. want, yeah. So, so is there like a landing page and then you go f into like an app subdomain or is it under one domain, the entire app is kind of from landing page to like portal is one sort of Yeah, location. it's, it's okay. all one app. But okay, nice. And then the auth provider sort of wraps that environment. Okay, and that's what's quite nice, like using sort of an out of the box thing. Did you say it was Clerk? Clerk, yeah, Clerk, exactly. Cool. Um, nice. Yeah. So and they handle like sort of all the UIs and things you need to yeah to and auth in. emails and cool. um, all of that and the the branding is pretty good. Oh, and nice. Yeah. Right. So and then yeah, with Next.js, it's really cool. The being able to separate things pretty well and not like obviously the app bundle is a lot bigger than the website bundle, but For sure. because of the server side rendering and static site generation, my yeah the landing page you can still get super good performance. Yeah, super um, fast. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I guess that's the main like bonus with Next.js is like the server-side rendering stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's like you can actually have like a very fast landing page with like a bunch of content that's pre-rendered and you can build out like a bunch of different pages if you're doing like SEO webs yeah. and things like that. Yeah, exactly. Nice. In terms of the deployment, you mentioned <laughs> Railway. Yeah. And 
this has been also kind of on the radar as like a neat sort of deployment application, kind of a little bit like Versal, but maybe more centered towards backend services. But it sounds like you're hosting both the backend and the front end with Railway. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's, nice. it's very cool. Um, they, it's been a really good dev experience, like hosting yeah. everything in one place and really good telemetry, hosting my database there. And the private network functionality is Super really cool. good. Yeah, so everything goes through my front end, back end, the next back end, so I can nice. do checks there and yeah. Nice, definitely like, like a one-stop shop for kind of everything you need deployment-wise. Def and you can set up like triggers on, on GitHub to just kind of kick off the builds and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, exactly. Nice. It's like, it's actually exactly like Vassal. You just point it to a GitHub repo and it's got like this crazy uh, open source package called Nixpacks and it just figures out what to do. Yeah. Oh, um, amazing. <laughs> yeah. So you don't need to say what language it is. It'll be like, cool. uh, it figures out it's go. Just like and go for it. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Sweet. Um, and you can you can add things like wait for GitHub action tests to pass or whatever before deploying. And nice. Add health checks so everything is good before doing the rolling deploy. Amazing, dude. Yeah. Cool. Quite a neat little stack to use. It sounds like something that would be helpful for your own project. And if you want to check out Jasper's product, click the link in the description. Uh, do you want users? Yeah. To test? Come come check it out if you want a free. Uh, Minecraft server. Yeah. There you go. It's free. <laughs> it's free for now, I suppose. Yeah. Maybe indefinitely. Maybe forever. <laughs> well, there you, there you go. So definitely check it out, guys. And yeah, nice short one today. Hope you enjoyed it. Back with some more videos. I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.